The United States has remained the world's largest military power for decades. However, after almost 35 years of not developing a strategic bomber, the U.S. military still had a lot to make up for if it wanted to retain its position. To fix this problem, the U.S. Air Force initiated the Long Range Strike Bomber Program to develop the most advanced bomber in history. The program was ambitious, and it cost billions of dollars, but it finally paid off when Northrop Grumman came up with a potential replacement for the B-52 B-1 Lancer and the B-2 Spirit Bomber. Named the B-21 Raider, this new bomber is way ahead of its time. With features never seen before in a bomber, this jet could carry out long-range stealth missions on enemy targets without being detected. The B-21 Raider is a new advanced stealth bomber developed by Northrop Grumman for the United States Air Force. It is intended to be a day one, highly survivable strike platform that can penetrate the toughest enemy defenses to strike targets with both conventional and nuclear weapons. The B-21 program was launched in 2015 as the Long Range Strike Bomber, LRS-B, project to replace the U.S. Air Force's aging B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit Bombers. In 2016, Northrop Grumman's design was selected and the first test aircraft was completed in 2021. The Raider name officially became public in 2016, as well honoring the Doolittle Raiders who conducted a famous bombing raid over Tokyo in 1942. Once fully operational, the B-21 will become the backbone of the U.S. Air Force's manned bomber fleet. It incorporates the latest stealth technology to minimize its radar signature, making it difficult to detect even in the presence of advanced air defense systems. The jet can carry both nuclear and conventional precision-guided weapons, enabling it to strike a wide range of strategic targets. The B-21 Raider is considered a highly survivable and flexible platform, designed to operate either manned or unmanned in future contested environments. Its advanced suite of electronic sensors will allow it to integrate information from multiple sources, improving targeting while avoiding enemy threats. Each B-21 is likely to cost over $600 million, but is intended to help the Air Force project power abroad even against top-tier opponents. The B-21 leverages existing stealth technology and engineering from previous bomber programs like the B-2 Spirit and F-117 Nighthawk. However, it also incorporates advances in low observable techniques, advanced sensors, and computing power. Northrop Grumman was selected as the prime contractor and aircraft final assembly is taking place in Palmdale, California, although suppliers across over 40 states are participating. Intensive testing regiments will evaluate every aspect of the bomber's performance. The B-21 has been designed for survivability, even against the toughest air defenses of potential adversaries. It has a smaller radar cross-section than previous stealth planes, making detection difficult. The exact materials and coatings reducing its signature are classified, but likely include special shapes, radar-absorbing skins, and infrared suppression. Every aspect from the engines to the flight control surfaces minimizes detectability from radar, infrared, acoustic, and other sensors. Offensive capabilities center on its ability to carry and deploy a wide range of weapons, including precision-guided standoff missiles, free-fall bombs, air mines, and potential future weapons. It is also certified to carry nuclear payloads like the B-61 and B-83 bombs, if needed under PSYOP war plans. The B-21 can deploy these weapons from continental U.S. bases and penetrate enemy airspace without being detected. Its capabilities include optional manning, expanded communications, enhanced sensors, electronic warfare or intelligence gear, and advancing weapons packages. The open system architecture also allows upgrades over time to avoid obsolescence as technology evolves. While developing such a machine often comes with several high risks, the B-21 Raider was released on time and reportedly within the $25.1 billion budget the U.S. Air Force allocated back in 2021. Northrop Grumman, the company behind the bomber, appears to have learned from lessons faced by previous high-profile programs like the F-35 and the B-2 bombers. Back when it was released, the 34-year-old B-2 Spirit was a generation ahead of its time. The advanced materials coating the aircraft, combined with the engine inlets and the shape of the airframe, meant its radar signature was minute, rendering it virtually invisible even to high-tech radar systems. 
This allowed the aircraft to carry out long-range strike missions and highly defended enemy targets with a high chance of surviving the mission, something other bombers like the B-1 and B-52 struggled with. Undetected, the B-2 can destroy high-value targets with little or no warning, making it almost invisible. However, as time passed, more and more advanced radar detection systems were developed which could spot the B-2 bomber. As such, it was slowly becoming obsolete. So what makes its successor, the B-21, so special? Like most top-priority military operations, the program has been highly classified. Northrop Grumman released a few details about the project, but not much was revealed. What we know is that the B-21 radar draws a lot of its designs from the B-2 Spirit. The flying wing concept incorporates engines that are embedded and configured to efficiently minimize radar signature. The airframe is marginally smaller than that of the B-2. In addition, its payload, that is the amount of ordnance, missiles, and bombs it can carry, has been significantly reduced. Another major factor is its speed. The B-21 is a lot slower than other bombers. It is designed to fly at high subsonic speeds, unlike the B-2 stealth bomber. The upside of all these modifications is that it is significantly cheaper, both to buy and maintain. The B-2 was a lot more expensive to operate, but the B-21, on the other hand, will greatly lower the operation cost and man-hours needed for its upkeep. Plus, cheaper planes are more likely to be mass-produced. Initially, production plans include 100 aircraft, with the possibility of that number increasing in the future. Production costs can be kept down. What's new in the B-21? While stealth is a major feature of the B-21, it is in no way its only quality. What the Air Force and the entire U.S. military have been working on is to build a robust, distributed network of long-range sensors and strike platforms that transmit and exchange huge amounts of data about enemy targets without them finding out. The B-21 fits perfectly into this new strategy network. It is specially designed to gather intelligence about a potential enemy or area and carry out a strike. In essence, it can gather and relay information about enemy locations to friendly aircraft, radars, and satellites with the added benefit of being able to destroy targets within its range. While its primary design focus is on long-range strikes, the B-21 radar possesses the capability to gather and share intelligence, enabling it to guide its own arsenal of weapons to engage and eliminate multiple targets. Basically, its brain is its most valuable asset and, as mentioned before, utilizing open-source software will facilitate seamless upgrades for the aircraft, making sure it remains flexible and cutting-edge while seriously extending its useful life. The bomber is adaptable for both manned and unmanned configurations, and its internal weapons bay enable it to carry cutting-edge long-range stealth missiles like the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile JASSM, as well as other conventional and nuclear payloads. Will the B-21 rule the skies for long? As of now, the B-21 is the stealthiest jet on the planet. Nevertheless, there are reports indicating that advancements in quantum radar technology may have the capability to detect stealth aircraft. China asserts that its military has deployed a radar system claiming the ability to detect even the most stealthy aircraft, a claim rejected by Western experts. Though the claims have been rejected, it is still an area of intense focus, especially given the obvious military applications. For decades, stealth aircraft have ruled the skies. So with a quantum radar that actually works, the significant advantages of stealth aircraft owned by the U.S. will totally disappear. Once detected by radar, an attack aircraft will be immediately shot down. However, even without stealth, the B-21's other features are what makes it such a formidable weapon. It can gather information faster than any other aircraft on the planet, meaning it knows where the enemy is and where its own assets are located. Also, its adaptability makes it better at eliminating targets from a distance. The capability to collect, assimilate, and integrate extensive volumes of data, plus open source software, means every sensor on the B-21 can keep getting updated. This alone makes the aircraft a potent weapon as it has been designed to be. The aircraft's unveiling on November 11, 2023, signifies the commencement of years of development, adjustment, refinement, and meticulous testing. These tests will initially be conducted on the ground and subsequently in the air, encompassing a wide array of conditions. 
before it ultimately becomes part of the U.S. Air Force. Though it has not started going on missions, it is already underway to being one of the deadliest weapons any potential enemy of the United States because of the minimal warning of its arrival deep within an enemy's airspace. This deterrent factor is expected to be a crucial consideration for any neighboring adversary contemplating military actions. However, the absence of competition is not the case. China, having closely observed U.S. stealth bombers for decades, has accelerated its research efforts to develop its own counterpart, the Xi'an H-20 stealth deep penetration bomber. The B-21 Raider will indeed face formidable challengers. The B-21 Raider might be a huge step up in the U.S. military's defense capabilities, but it also comes with a few drawbacks of its own. For instance, the Department of Justice and Northrop Grumman estimate each aircraft to cost around $692 million. Though it is considerably cheaper than its predecessor, it is still super expensive. The military is also planning to order around 100 units, which will cost billions of dollars. Time magazine revealed that the program will cost U.S. taxpayers over $203 billion over the next 30 years. Despite all these challenges, one thing is sure. The B-21 Raider is the future of warfare, and we can expect to see more of it in action in the coming years. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to this, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime we post amazing videos like this.